What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We do know that YouTube, if you're watching this video on YouTube, is a place that really loves their censorship. Actually, just noticing, I really need to upload this, change this overlay, because I don't use Parler anymore. I really need to do that. I'm going to do that by tomorrow. Anyway, um, YouTube does love to censor. That's why I always talk about alt tech. That's why I use Minds, BitChute, Odyssey, Rumble, uh, Getter, Gab. It's tough to get your word out there. If you don't use like literally all of your alt tech options, you stand no chance. I, you know, I had a meeting with a guy this last week who, as an aspiring YouTuber, I know his mom, his mom asked me to talk to him. I can't really tell people how to make it anymore. I don't know how I did. I got lucky. I got lucky, but I shared. And every time I share, you know, when you're a new YouTuber, Sure, create your YouTube channel, okay? But the very next thing you should be doing is linking it to Odyssey, Rumble, and BitChute. The very next thing you should be doing is creating a Minds account, creating a Gab account, Getter account, Facebook even, Facebook alternatives. We should be doing these things because it's the only chance you have. Imagine being a brand new YouTuber uploading your very first video today and you want to talk about something relevant, right? You want to talk about something relevant in terms of uh, what's interesting to you. And good luck, right? Good luck. Nobody finds my videos in search anymore. They haven't for years. My channel is just treading water. I'm very happy to have who I have, but I am not stupid enough to think I could have built the same audience in today's environment, and it's only been two years. YouTube has a long history of... of just constantly keeping their boot on the on the on the on the back of individual content creators. And now we see this ridiculous new uh, censorship, uh, which seems to be around the trucking protests. But some of the earliest findings I found were before this. But look at this. Imagine you're a small time, you're a brand new YouTuber. You're just getting into the game. You're getting your feet wet, right? You upload a video and that video is popular. This is the way that we all would normally want to grow, right? And then you get this video unavailable. And I've seen, by the way, multiple reports of this from different people. So it seems to be a trend. Not a single journalist has written about it. Shockingly video unavailable. This video is popular due to limited creator history. We're limiting the number of viewers. Subscribe to this channel to help this creator reach a broader audience. So what? A young creator can't have a viral video now? How else are you supposed to make it? You're already buried between Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, NBC, local broadcasting people, uh, establishment news like the Young Turks or big channels like Crowder or the Daily Wire. Uh, and then, and then way down on page 70, they'll find an individual creator. And then you work and you work and you work and you finally craft the right title and you finally craft the, the right, the perfect video. Um, you release it at the perfect time. You've finally done it. You've hit gold. Your video is going to garner, it's going to launch your YouTube career. Oops. 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 Nope. Sorry. Sorry. This is nothing new, of course. We've seen, you know, YouTube ban goes beyond the coof, removing content that even talks negative about other stuff. So we know how YouTube is around, around uh, the poke. It's like there's an active disincentive, disincentive to ever talk about it. They... You run a huge risk of losing your platform if you if you step if you misstep. Um, you'll make no money from those videos, and they'll also be buried. They are doing YouTube does everything like uh, YouTube does everything humanly possible to disincentivize having those conversations. Okay, and I and I acknowledge by the way that you know. While I believe you should just let everything 
if you just let everything get uploaded that's not that's legal things would work themselves out that's what i believe but i at least understand why youtube has this you know sensitivity around the coof but this video wasn't about the coof the video wasn't about the poke either You see this channel, PragerU. I don't really watch it, but I know it's like a popular conservative content outlet hub. Again, how do you have, how do you even compete against them? Millions and millions of dollars they've got, like uh, just pumping out videos constantly. YouTube suspended Sky News Australia this past week for broadcasting quote misleading information. No one at YouTube would even reveal what that mis misleading information was. Was it the Sky News host who doubted the efficacy of lockdowns? Was it the discussion of which participants claimed, as numerous medical authorities do, that cloth masks are largely less effective than thought? I mean, this goes back to April 6th, right, of last year. Now we know this to be true, right? Now we know the CDC's come out and said, well, cloth mask, you, know, you should probably be wearing an N95. Are you seeing people out in public with them? I am. I saw somebody at the pet store with an N95 plus the face shield. I'm like, bro, just order, order it online. You really going to do all of that just to go buy dog food? You really going to do all that to get more hamster bedding? Just order it online. You look ridiculous. And you see all sorts, you know, you have a global look at YouTube and its censorship policies. In 46 countries in my life, you get to appreciate... Oh, they said, I've seen 46 countries in my life. You get to appreciate the meaning of freedom when exposed to the variety of norms people live in. In that time, I've determined there are five central censorship forces YouTube has to contend with as it's grown in a power to be reckoned with, with the on the international stage. They've got to deal with activist groups. People like Stop Hate for Profit and um, you know all these other bully organizations. Um, government agendas. YouTube's own agenda. The company takes a strong stand against... This is a good article. Uh, written by guest author. Oh, you didn't even say... Okay. I was going to give you credit. Um, the company takes a strong stand against perceived hate speech, which isn't even a real thing, and has singled out several popular names. The same publicly goes for... It talks about, you know, cell services and things like that. The company is also politically left-leaning. Advertisement and investor agendas that you have to deal with. In 2019, Google's partner Alphabet lost $70 billion on the stock exchange as a result of arguably a virtue signaling based censoring of popular content creators. YouTube has since escaped that recent trend of big brands such as Starbucks stepping away from social media and attempts to escape uncontrollable negative online press. And then you have communal and cultural agendas that you have to deal with. So, you know, Google is... And YouTube is constantly um, worried about a lot of different things. And we bet we, they banned Rand Paul, or he quit YouTube after they removed numerous of his videos. A senator, a sitting senator, is you know can't have conversations on YouTube. I mean, we also live in a world where Twitter banned the sitting president. See, not only do they censor, they highly manipulate the conversations and topics, the likes and engagement. They can easily manufacture users and comments to make a message seem more popular and mainstream than it actually is. You know, when Trump was in office for, you know, 2016 to 2020, he talked about reining these people in. Hey, he never did it. He never did it. You know, when he finally started to care this is one of my biggest gripes about him. At the end, when he couldn't do anything about it anymore, and only when it finally affected him directly, he told us, he got the same thing with um, Ted Cruz. I was going up there and totally poning Zuckerberg and changing what? And changing what? Getting a, a, a viral clip of you sounding real tough? You've changed nothing. And now what is this? This happened to a live streamer covering the Canadian trucker protest in Ottawa. I mean, this is the same. Isn't this the same company that told us that they're removing dislikes to help smaller creators? What is this? You're a small creator. You finally get your break. And then YouTube's like, easy player. 
You're small. You need to stay small. Absolutely devious, underhanded, and unacceptable. Let Team YouTube know that this isn't okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.